You've got some explaining to do. <laughs> I wear the flying finnies, a 50-something couple on their way to visit 60 countries before we turn 60. We're currently in country number seven, Taiwan. In this video, we visit our second night market in Taipei and wander the streets of the Huaxi Street Tourist Market, but we may have got more than we bargained for. Come join us as we overindulge once again and find the best pork broth on the island. Welcome to night market number two. This is the Huaxi Street night tourist, tourist market, I think is what they call it. So I guess we're in the right place. We are tourists slash travellers, whatever you want to call us. And you can see it does look a bit more touristy. There's this really shiny lit up entrance gate. It looks amazing. It's really beautiful and lots of lights inside. So very different atmosphere to the night market that we went to last night. Um, we're really looking forward as always to try some really delicious and unique food here. The thing that's top on our list is something called Wang's broth, which we've read about, which is apparently a pork broth with pork mince and some noodles in it. So looking forward to that. And I'm sure there'll be a whole bunch of other things to try. Anything on your list? I'm right into the noodle soup at the moment. We've tried a couple of different places. We had beef noodle soup previously, but really the thing that I'm looking forward to is getting under a little bit of cover because it's starting to mist down rain. It's the first rain that we've experienced here in Taipei. So we've been pretty lucky so far. Bit of shelter, some delicious food, maybe some not so delicious food, who knows? Who knows? We'll take you on the journey regardless, so stick with us. One of the things we have noticed in all of the night markets we visited was the availability of offal. We weren't quite game enough to try these tasty treats just yet, but stick around for future videos as we do indulge and enjoy this different style of food. It's a no for me this day. I really like that they don't waste any part of the animal when you when you have a carcass, but um, very challenging for me to see to see that. <laughs> you can see that this undercover part of the market is mostly non-food stalls. So we've got nail salons, massage places, souvenirs, things like that. It's like a great big python. Ah, oh, I did read you could get snake soup here. Again, not on my list of want to eats, but interesting. I think it's an albino snake. Like even its eyes don't seem to have color. Can you see that? So I was getting a little bit upset before because foot massages and jewelry, I'm not sure that was my thing. And I thought if that's the night market, we're not gonna have a lot of fun here, but We've just crossed the street, this is the second part of the market and look at all of the food stalls laid out in front of us. Lots of people eating here, there's plates of food everywhere. I'm feeling much better. And Graham was about to feel so much better because we found exactly what we came here for, the legendary Wang's broth. I've got a pre-order, apparently. She gave me the special menu to help. I think we definitely looked like lost tourists when we first came in. Everyone had their little sheets and knew what they were doing and we didn't. The food turned up within about 30 seconds of ordering. There's a real production line inside and the food there looks amazing. And it keeps on coming. I'm not sure whether we're gonna have enough room after this to go visit anywhere else, but from the smells coming from this food, I think that this would be more than enough. So we've got a whole range of different foods here. From, this is the pork broth, braised pork with rice. We've got cabbage, tofu, also some sweet potato shoots and bamboo shoots as well. So I said, it all looks delicious. It smells delicious, my mouth is watering. All we've got to do now is hook in. As you can see from the almost empty plates of all that food that we ordered, it was superb. It was absolutely amazing. That broth of that soup was incredible. I didn't care for the 
big chunks of meat in it. Well, they were great, they were fine, just on my feet, but the broth was incredible. And I'm really pleased to say that we got our veggies in today. It's often hard to do that when you're traveling to get good serves of vegetables, but that cabbage, the bamboo shoots, and the sweet potato leaves. Makes me feel like we had a balanced meal. <laughs> I have no hesitation in recommending that you all come here. It was really good value. The food was excellent. And the atmosphere is actually really incredible as well. Lots of young people, plenty of people out enjoying themselves. So highly Do yourself recommend. a favour. <laughs> yeah, do yourself a favour. If you're in Taipei, come to Wang's. Now, it's only just past eight o'clock in the evening. So obviously a lot of things start to close down now. So it looks like if you're going to come here, be earlier than us. Get a bit more organised than we were. Because we were a little late, I missed out on the noodle soup I'd been craving. But we made up for it with an excellent dessert. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Yum. Initial thoughts? It looks really pretty. But... Graham is definitely more the dessert, the Asian style dessert person than me. So this is a mix of different beans and tofu for dessert. So I think it looks outstanding. It looks outstanding. A healthy dessert. It's got mung beans. It's got azuki beans, which I've never heard of. Oh, peanuts. That's what these are. Like soft peanuts. And then underneath here is tofu. And then they drown it all in the sweet syrup. So um, so I might have to take back what I said about me not liking it. We're getting another serve of healthy food combined with dessert here, hopefully. So, so that was fantastic. We'll have to come back and get more. <laughs> it's just, it was really, really nice. So that was an amazing two hours spent in the Huaxi Park. And again, Behind me, a very touristy precinct, but in front of me here, some amazing food stalls. And whilst we weren't able to try everything that was on our list, what we did try was absolutely incredible. So if you've got a little bit of time in Taipei, coming here, absolutely recommend it. A surprise night market. We were leaving the Huaxi Street one, heading back to the metro station, and came across this night market, it's the Guangzhou Street night market so uh, we are doing two night markets in one evening we are not hungry at all but already we want to buy food because it looks incredible let's go A traditional street market as you can see at the moment i've got stinky tofu on one side and durian on the other so there's an overwhelming interesting smell the durian actually smells delicious stinky tofu yeah, not so much but we're too full to buy any more food to eat for dinner we did buy some fruit for breakfast tomorrow and we've been watching somebody make these really interesting looking rice cakes which we've never seen before either. So again, if you're in this area, recommend you have a look here as well. You've got some explaining to do. <laughs> so I have a half a scallion pancake because I shared with my friend here. I just couldn't resist. The man was so nice and so chatty and it does look really good. And we waited long enough that we're almost hungry again. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Well, I'm fine because you are here with egg, basil, and green onion. Very, very delicious. Very healthy. Right, very healthy. Yes, yes. <laughs> How do you know? Because it's not made of flour, made of green seed and peanut. Ah. So very healthy. Now you got it. After a few minutes chatting to Taipei's most engaging street vendor, Tracy knew we had to try some of his pancakes. I hope that one's mine with all the basil in it. Spicy. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. Ooh, that looks really good. Yeah, you try. Brilliant. You try, okay? There you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. <laughs> it's a little bit indulgent, but you know, 
it's eggs and millet flour and chili and basil or basil it's all about health food and it's delicious I think we might have put a little bit too much spice on there. I might need the water bottle in a minute, but it's really good. Again, it's a bit like roti bread, one of my favourite things in the world. So yeah, again, there's not much I wouldn't recommend here. Scanning pancakes is another thing I would say. Give it a try. We had a brilliant evening of delicious food that only cost us a total of 22 Australian dollars. Really great value. So come join us in our next video as we taste Taipei's best dumplings at the Lingjiang Night Market and make sure you click and subscribe for more great content.